Hi everybody, my name is Yan Kibongi and I'm here to share with you a little tip that I found some days ago. So today we'll talk about uh, wire rope vibration isolators, also known as uh, wire rope tempers. I was uh, looking for some uh, pieces on the internet but uh, I found them a little bit expensive and uh, I found a way to uh, do them by myself and I'll explain it to you right now. So let's go. So you just need uh, very cheap things to do a DIY wire dampers such as um, bicycle brake cable and some uh, connecting blocks. You can do uh, various size of uh, wire dampers. Uh, you just have to change uh, the size of uh, the wire rope and uh, of course uh, the size of uh, the connecting blocks. First, uh, cut um, a piece of uh, wire rope about uh, 30 centimeters take the connecting blocks Ooh. Um, so just pass the wire rope inside the first connecting block and put the second one like that Okay, so now you can bend your um, wire rope like that and just pass the wire rope inside the second connecting block. Okay, now you just have to bend the um, wire rope a new time and pass each side into the first connecting cable like that oh 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 okay like that All right. Now you can tighten the screws here. Okay. And now you just have to balance the wire rope loops to have a perfect wire rope vibration isolator and when it's okay you just have to uh, tighten all the screws and that it wire rope tempers is uh, done for uh, the big ones that's the same, you just have to have a bigger wire rope, but that's exactly the same operation. Ah, well, you can uh, put a piece of tape on uh, each side to avoid the wire rope to disassemble when you put it in the connecting block. This is exactly the same process. You just have to pass uh, the wire rope inside the connecting block. The second one in the second connecting block like uh, that. Okay. Bend it. Pass the second side of the wire rope in the second connecting block and bend it again to put each side of the wire rope into the first connecting block and that it now you can tie it 
the screws of the connecting block of the the first connecting block and uh, balance the loops of the wire of dampers to uh, make it efficient and uh, that it when it's okay you can tight all the screws of uh, the two uh, connecting blocks and that it you have your wire rope damper done then you can mm, uh, then you can use um, the holes of the connecting blocks to put uh, screws and uh, fix uh, your wire dampers on uh, your supports um, the little one can be uh, used to um, remove vibration of uh, little cameras such as uh, BMPCC, Next 5 uh, cameras, etc. Um, and 5D too. You just uh, have to use uh, 4, 6, or 8 uh, wire dampers. And for bigger cameras, like Red Epic, BMCC, you can use uh, the big ones. Uh, they can support um, a big camera with a, a gimbal without a problem. You can use uh, six, four, or eight, and uh, you'll be able to support um, a payload of uh, about uh, 15 pounds without a problem uh, or more. So um, that's a really cheap and um, efficient solution to remove um, and wanted vibrations. So that it. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful and I apologize for my bad English because actually I'm French. So I know my accent is not uh, perfect, but uh, I'm working on it. Um, so I see you soon for new tutorials and um, bye.